The most interesting thing is to talk about the future and then figure out what that means in terms of your navigation today. The future becomes the present and opportunity awaits. The challenge in a world of continual change is finding the right path. You can create sound strategies based on knowledge, insight, and experience with Michael Rogers, the practical futurist. To me, a practical futurist is someone who thinks about the future, but needs to then take some real steps towards that future. It's not enough to just make a prediction about what things will be like. You need to have some real action steps. Tech-savvy business expert, award-winning journalist, best-selling novelist, internationally known visionary. Using witty, customized interactive storytelling, he gives you solid steps to implement your strategy today and guides your group toward a powerful, positive, profitable future. What futurists used to do is, you know, they would tell you what the future would be like. Then they would go away. <laughs> and by the time the future happened, you'd have forgotten what they said. So if they were right, they speak up and take congratulations. And if they're wrong, they just shut up. I mean, this is a great job. <laughs> no wonder we have so many futurists. But in my writing, I always put practical in front of futurist. Because I think that's a new kind of futurist, and I think most of us in the room fall into that category. Michael Rogers understands what the future can hold. For more than 20 years, he has helped shape the face of it. As creator of Newsweek's award-winning technology column, he brought such hot topics as new media, robotics, and genetic engineering to the public eye. As editor and general manager of Newsweek.com and vice president of the Washington Post Company's new media division, he expanded the reach and definition of these media giants into the 21st century. As futurist in residence at the New York Times, he guided all the company's business units toward greater innovation and a better understanding of the future. A best-selling science fiction novelist with patents in multimedia technology, he is listed in Who's Who in Science and Engineering. Now he harnesses his powerful understanding of technology, demographics, economics, politics, and our culture to help you define your own future. I was a tech kid, an electronics whiz, and I always thought I was going to grow up and be an electrical engineer. So when I went to college, I studied physics. But my hobby was writing short stories, and midway through college, I began to sell stories to magazines. So I thought, this is interesting, and uh, ended up studying both creative writing and physics. After I graduated and went to work for the Washington Post Company, I was involved in new media, which really brought those two sides of my mind together. Uh, but I was also involved in figuring out how to make these new products into businesses. So I learned about the business side. And now those have all come together for me. Uh, storytelling, which is a way we learn about the way the world works. Technology, which is always changing and always fascinating. And then finally, the business piece is very important. How do we take these great new ideas and turn them into something that actually works. Michael Rogers has worked with organizations all over the world in major industries including telecom, education, finance, media, healthcare, manufacturing, biotech and energy. He tailors his insights to each individual audience providing immediate take-home value that is highly customized for his listeners. What I like to do is spend time with a company before I visit and really learn about its culture and its history, how it approaches innovation, what challenges it's facing, and what they expect from me. Very often I'm doing a keynote speech to open a conference or a meeting that's thinking about the future. I try to make those keynotes very optimistic. Uh, there's a strain of futurism that likes to talk about extinction and dinosaurs and sort of scare the audience. I don't think fear is that great a business motivator. I think opportunity is. So what I like to do is structure a speech around what I think the opportunities are for a company in the future. And very often in companies I deal with, the very leading edge IT projects are given to younger workers because they have the latest tools, they have the latest training, but very often they don't fully have the picture of what the culture of the company means. So I really emphasize that senior management needs to be involved that we have to really work hard to make sure that we're not losing some key information as we move everything into this digital world. Michael is a captivating, entertaining speaker with tremendous media and state presentation experience. 
His topics range from technology to management, communications to strategic development for the challenges ahead. What's most important to me and most satisfying is to leave my clients and audiences with a real sense of what they can do next, not just sort of a vague sense of what the future will be like. Um, these days I think we need concrete steps that can result in improved productivity or more market share or greater customer satisfaction. The days for think tank experiments I think are, are long past. We need to think about the future these days in practical terms. Michael Rogers, the practical futurist. For more excerpts from Michael's television and speaking appearances, please choose from the menu screen.